Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about iOS 13. And yes, I'm filming outside. It was a beautiful day, so I thought, why not? And if you hear a few birds in the background, you already know why that is. But let's talk about iOS 13. In this video, I want to talk about some of the rumored features on some recent reports coming from 9 to 5 Mac. A lot of this stuff we already knew about. There's minor details that we didn't know that I want to talk about in this video, as well as some of the features that I think Apple should bring to iOS 13. And if they don't bring these, it's going to be a bit of a shame because the competition will just be way way far ahead let's begin first I want to talk about when can we expect iOS 13 when can we see the first glance of the new version of iOS well if history is any indication WWDC will be held on June 3rd through the 7th this year and on the first day of June we'll see most likely iOS 13 beta 1 and that's when we'll start seeing all the new features of course Apple adds new features as the software evolves in its beta stages and officially launches sometime in September time frame with the new iPhones now today's report claims that dark mode will be coming to iOS as an official feature now we saw Apple release dark mode for Mac OS Mojave last year and it makes a lot of sense for them to release it this year so 9 to 5 Mac is reporting that this feature will be a standalone feature that will actually be enabled within settings so it will be a system wide feature and we already kind of knew this this is coming for iOS especially for the new iPhones this is very beneficial right because we have the OLED display it has the ability to turn off individual pixel that way it preserves number one preserves the battery number two preserves the display so dark mode officially confirmed coming to iOS 13 and again most likely the first beta on June 3rd this report also claims something again that we heard about before the volume HUD will finally be addressed with iOS 13. This is a super annoying a volume HUD right in the center of the screen. I can't believe we're talking about this still in iOS 12. And Apple has yet to update and fix this. The Apple could have just fixed this with a very minor update. But I guess iOS 13, they're going to be fixing it. So better late than never, right? So that is going to be fixed, confirmed, according to 9to5Mac. And the shake to undo gesture when you're typing on your iPhone, where you shake your iPhone to undo when you do the wrong typing, you can go ahead and shake it and undo it just like that. Well, that's going to be changing, according to this report. If we... Use three fingers on the keyboard, tap and press on the keyboard, swiping to the left will redo, swiping to the right will undo. So just a minor change there to the redo and undo gestures on the iPhone as well as on the iPad. Now of course I'll be linking you guys down below to the official report from 9 to 5 Mac, but on some other tidbits here, Safari improvements to the iPad. We know that Apple wants to make the iPad a laptop replacement. So with this new Safari improvement, we'll see desktop versions of the website being displayed on the iPad. No more mobile versions of websites on the iPad iPad improvements to mail as well are coming to the iPad again links in the description for all of these new features and reports claimed by 9 to 5 Mac now I want to talk about what I'm expecting what I'm hoping iOS 13 will bring now just like most of you guys of course I want all these features that we talked about before a dark mode experience within iOS again it brings a better user experience it preserves the battery preserve the display it just makes a lot of sense now I also want of course the volume HUD all the stuff we talked about but I also want picture in picture why can we only do this on the iPad especially on these big iPhones like the iPhone uh, 10s Max right we have a plus model iPhone or a max model and we don't have picture within picture watching a video from YouTube maybe a recipe while taking notes that's very useful why can we only use two apps side by side on iPad Apple really needs to bring these awesome features to the iPhone I think Apple definitely needs to do this in order to bring and stay up to date with the competition right because we see other vendors do it and a lot of people say well if you want picture within picture if you want all these other features just go over to Android and just because I want these features it doesn't mean I don't like using iOS I love using iOS but Apple needs to step it up and us as consumers need to demand some of the features that we believe will be useful to us and I think Apple will hit it out of the park if they add the dark mode fix the UI improve the software of course and give us picture within picture true multitasking on the iPhone the ability to run apps side by side just like we do on iPad I think this will be a home run if Apple just brings those features features to iOS 13 even if they don't revamp the entire UI just by adding those I think it will be a home run so fingers crossed let me know what you guys think in those comments down below thank you for watching today's video and I'll see you guys on the next one peace